Good morning, Culinary One students. It's Miss Anderson reporting live from my kitchen again. Um, I've got my helper, Elby, with me. Um, and this week we've been learning about leavening agents uh, and the difference between quick breads and yeast breads. And so today I'm gonna make um, a favorite um, quick bread, which is strawberry shortcake. So we're gonna make little individual um, shortcakes and then serve it with some fresh strawberries and whipped cream. Um, super easy recipe. Um, we're gonna go ahead and wash our hands and get started. Okay. Um, so our ingredients that we've got um, all meased out. Um, if you remember, mise en place means to get everything in its place. So what we did is we measured everything that we were gonna need before we started. Um, so that we'd be a lot more organized and ready to go. So in our big bowl, we got four cups of flour. And then our leavening agent that we're gonna be using is baking powder. And we have three teaspoons of baking powder. We've got a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, um, two tablespoons of butter, and then two tablespoons of shortening. Um, and then in our for our liquid, we've got three fourths of a cup of half and half, which is half cream and half milk. All right, so what we're gonna do is, is yeah, Albie's very excited. We have um, a couple different tools that we're gonna use. Um, our first is this, which is a, past, a pastry blender. Um, and a pastry blender is for um, basically mixing together like fat and flour. So these are the two different fats that we're using, butter and shortening, and it's gonna help us to mix that together. I'm sure that a lot of you don't have a pastry blender, so you can just use like two knives or two forks if you like. Okay, so Albie's gonna start adding the rest of our dry ingredients in. So that's our baking powder is gonna go into our bowl. Dump, dump, dump. Okay, next, salt. The salt? Sure. Yep. Okay. And which one? Then let's do the sugar. And um, so let's just kind of mix this together first. So we're gonna to mix together all of our dry ingredients first, and then we are going to use the pastry blender to um, cut in. And cut in is a word that we use to describe mixing the fat and the flour together. So we're gonna to, um, dump that in. Sorry, my dog in this is just always going crazy. Okay. She's going cuckoo. Okay. Nope, we're going to use this. This is the pastry cutter. Okay, so we're going to use that to mix. Okay, so these little holes, you're going to go down and up, down and up, and we're going to mix. What about we put in the blender? Oh, you could do that too. If you have a, a food processor, you could use that too. Okay, so now that we've mixed in or cut in all of the fat into our flour, so really kind of what you're going for is you want really small, um, I don't know if there's enough fat in here to get little um, pea-shaped pieces, pea? of, like, a, like a green pea, not really peas, but you really want all of that fat to be mixed in there. You can kind of grab it with your hands a little. Okay, the next thing and the last thing we're gonna do for our ingredients is we're gonna add our, I wanna put okay, three quarter cups, whoop, three quarter cups of um, half and half into our bowl. Okay, okay, now let's just use a spoon. Nope, let's just use a spoon now. A giant one, right? Yeah. And we're gonna mix our liquid. Okay. Hey. And so this, whoa, 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 slow. Yeah. Shop this yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's no eggs in here and Okay. We're back and we've got our dough all mixed together. Um and the next thing that we're going to do is just drop it by spoonfuls onto our um cookie sheet right here. So we're just going to make and they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to look any certain perfect way. You can make them look like Little turtles, or what do you think they look like, Elby? I'm gonna shape mine. You're gonna shape yours, okay. Wait, what if we just put whipped cream all over it? Whipped cream all over it? So it would be whipped cream cake. Uh-huh. 
All right, we don't want to handle the dough too much, just like when you're making pastry dough. Um, so these are going to be really similar to Delight Biscuits. All right, so we're just going to put these, drop these on our baking sheet, and then we're going to bake them in the oven for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, um, we're back and we've cooked our um, shortcakes. And the last thing we're gonna do is <laughs> we're gonna add a little bit of whipped cream. Um, we were not able to um, find heavy whipping cream that we would mix in our mm. in our stand mixer, so we just ended up buying Ready Whip um, for this time. So um, what you can do for your shortcake is you can um, slice it in half, kind of like you would do a sandwich, or you can just leave it just like that. And then here what we did is we took some strawberries and we um, mixed in a little bit of sugar and we macerated them, which means I just took a fork and I mashed them up. I tried to cut them up as little as I can and then mashed it with the sugar so that it's a little bit sweeter. If you want to stay away from sugar, um, you can just add fresh strawberries. It doesn't need to have any sugar. But also since it's spring and we know that um, strawberries are in season and that's one of the things that we've been learning about a seasonal fruit and if you remember some of the reasons why it is to your advantage to buy fruits that are in season, first one, it's cheaper. Um, it's gonna be more plentiful at the stores. Um, and so when I um, went to the grocery store, I noticed that there's lots of berries right out um, in the front and they are fairly inexpensive right now. So we have blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries, and you can add any berries that you want. Um, so we'll, and the whipped cream is Albie's favorite part. So we're just gonna add, um, a little bit of um, whipped cream on the side. And then we're gonna go ahead and add um, some strawberries. And there you have it. You could add all three berries if you wanted. Make it look beautiful. And voila, strawberry shortcake.